Public Relations and Marketing. I guess that I'm Megan today. Okay, so I <laughs> uh, wanted to kind of go through, as you know, um, Dallas is CEO kicked off that this is Manufacturers Appreciation Week. So we had Fred Hapiak, the staff, to, um, do a little on the job with him. So he did a little interview with us, and that was on um, Dallas to CEO uh, Monday. So that's where that was. Um, we also did some outreach to them last Friday, delivering um, you know, some treats to our existing industries. And then also Monday through Friday, Megan on our Facebook and Twitter is um, posting things about our local industries and what they're doing in our community for Manufacturing Appreciation Week. We are featured in Georgia Trend this past in April 2014 or this month, um, talking about our grad sites, the anticipated future growth, and what our existing industries are doing here in our community. Um, we were we made the short list for America's top sites and trade and industry developments. Uh, that'll be an editorial that'll be coming out in the May June issue. So we've been working on that. We've got South Georgia Pecan Photo, and for that particular piece, um, Site Selection Magazine will May issue will have a half page ad promoting our shovel ready sites. So we're promoting that on a national, international level, and then she hosted. Um, not me. She hosted the Google Small Business Virtual Workshop, so that is definitely her her bit. And then um, just working on current marketing program for the things that she mentioned there. And I'll go ahead and talk about marketing opportunities. Some of this is already in my report as well. Um, you know, we have South Georgia Classic coming up. That's the last week of April, beginning of May. We actually have. Eight guests, correct. We have eight guests that will be attending and we're refining that list a little bit. So that's very good for us to have done that this year. I think last year we were still trying to get as many as we could. So we're excited about that. We have some site consultants that will be joining us. We have some existing industries that will be joining us from more new industries and new projects that are coming in and some projects that are recently announcing in some other communities that will be joining us. Um, so we're excited about that. The first day is our Tuesday, is where we kick off that guest for our Pro-Am guest. We'll kick off that with the golf clinic and get them situated and they'll get to network with our Pro-Ams. And then that night, we'll go back to the pairings party and then the next day, they'll play golf. And then on Thursday, Friday, we host our developers, which are all our economic developers from the state. So through EMC, um, MEAG, as well as Georgia Power, as well as the Department of Economic Development. We've also included tourism and marketing and film within this group, which are all housed under the Georgia Department of Economic Development, and we'll be bringing them in on Thursday, and they'll be doing community tours on Friday morning, and we'll also get to visit the golf tournament as well. Um, and then we'll have the community aspect of the tournament that Saturday, Sunday, so we'll invite our existing industries out to enjoy the um, Skybox and enjoy the tournament. And really our goal is to help promote the South Georgia Classic as a great economic um, engine for the community and a tourism event and marketing event and so by getting people there. Um, we were, I think I mentioned this to you at our last meeting, out of some meetings that we've had with Commissioner Carr and some of his economic leader, the leadership in the department, um, we had the first ever fly-in of project managers into South Georgia to showcase our grad sites. So they were here on April 4th. We had a great visit. And they were put, they spent about 10, 15 minutes on each part. And Alan gave them a great presentation. We did conceptual of the park where we had several different building ways laid out. Um, we'll be sharing some of that. I think Alan will talk to you about that too. Um, and then they spent time also in Brooks County and in Cook County. And in Steeda. Right, we had lunch at Steeda. So um, we took them to Bassford to go on site and then hosted them at Steeda for lunch. And then they were able to get a tour of the facility and Dario was very helpful and Scott did a great job. So we're very thankful we, to them yes, for what they do. We do appreciate Steeda very much for that. And there were about how many project managers? Eight. Seven, seven project managers, counting Mr. Charlie Douglas, eight. Yeah. And um, I would say Dario is also participating with us in the South Georgia Classic too, in one of our events that we have that night. So he's working with us on that as well. Um, 
I'll let Alan, do you want to talk about the real estate marketing? We're working on about the concepts or before um, you go there, I have a question for sure. you. Just going back uh, to the third bullet from the top, this trade and industry development editorial mm -hmm. on the short list, is is that something that we were selected to be included in, or is this self-select? Is this purchase advertisement space? They selected us. Okay, on, on based on what criteria? On the amount of um, the certified sites that we have and the clusters that we have. So by looking at the fact that we have three certified industrial parks yeah. is how they chose us to do so. And the fact that we're located on I-75, we do have a higher education here as well as our school systems. So okay. community. And my next question is this 225 board editorial, is that something that um, you write in conjunction with our illustrious leader here? How do we decide what goes in that piece? We, they actually interview us on the editorial and we send them talking points and the facts and figures that they're asking for to input into the editorial. And included in this, will we have some of our key industrial leaders give input or is it strictly from the industrial authority? Uh, it's usually strictly from the industrial authority, but I can get more from Megan to see if we're going to okay. do that. Um, so real estate marketing, what we've been trying to work towards is when we do business flyers, we want to already have conceptuals placed on the park. And we already have seven, several of those that we have done for other projects, so we're now working with our engineers and getting, so like if you were to look at this, you would see what the site would look like with like five different buildings. So when we go to consultants and we go meet with people to be proactive, all of this will already be conceptualized for them for them to see what that square footage would look like on that track with parking and everything so we're working through that right now and we've done it with west side we're working on it with miller and we've done it with bassford yes west side and bassford complete miller's working the now one. and uh, we we preview them mm -hmm. with the um, with the team that came in on the fourth and with another project and it's it's been impressive to do that because then We've taken some conceptuals that we've done for other projects. We put them actually on the ground, and it's it's you'll be impressed when you see it. Mm -hmm. It really does give you a conceptual of what you know the park could look like and build out. Because so many of them now are like they don't believe it until they see it, so they got to right. see it so we can show them that we're prepared and ready to do that for them. Um, food marketing. She, we did a food processing show recently. I'll talk about that a little bit. She assisted us with this. She's also working on food processing material collateral for us to keep on hand when we do meet with food processing companies. Um, and that concludes the marketing public relations report. I, since Roy had such good questions, he made me think of one. Oh no, okay. Let's see. Is this 225 word editorial something that maybe we would want to just print up and have as sort of a flyer if, if that's we ought to just consider what other marketing opportunities we could have just having reprints of that editorial and really any of these other ads as well if we're going to be in Georgia Trend and there's different places. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Megan's way ahead of me on that, but um, it does look like we're going to have two or three really nice pieces here in the next mm -hmm. 90 days that we might be able to use as marketing collateral other ways. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Thank you.